What's up, people? It's your boy, the Kid MMA Expert, and I am back finally with another video. And today, we're gonna talk about John Jones and his future at heavyweight. John Jones, as you guys know, or may not know, he recently vacated his light heavyweight title belt and he moved up to heavyweight, or he said he's gonna move up to heavyweight and that's why he's vacating his light heavyweight belt. Cause he's gonna go after that heavyweight belt and try to become a double champion, which I can totally understand. I mean, you know, John Jones probably knew that the UFC was gonna strip him at some point if he keeps fighting, if he fights at heavyweight and doesn't defend his light heavyweight belt. So I think he gave it up for the division to move on fast and it will with the title fight on, I believe September 26th in the Arasanya Costa card, Jan Blahovich versus Dominic Reyes is fighting for the UFC light heavyweight title. And that hap that is happening because John Jones gave up his belt, which I respect him for that because he knows that he doesn't want to uh, hold up the division, right? So, but let's just talk about John Jones' future at heavyweight, all right? This is just my opinion, but in my opinion, I think this is not the smartest move for him. I think he's going to lose at least once at heavyweight. I mean, let me just tell you why, bro. So his last two fights were very close. He arguably lost both of them, which even though I thought he won against Santos, I thought he won 3-2. And, but the, his last fight against Dominic Reyes, I thought he lost. The first three rounds, he lost, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion. And John Jones, I feel like he only won the last two rounds. So I thought it was 3-2 to two Reyes, but they gave it to Jones, and I'm not complaining because I am a John Jones fan. But, you know, he arguably lost that fight. And now he moves up to heavyweight where he's going to deal with some much more powerful guys like Ninganu and... Nganu and like Derek Lewis even though he might not face him Stipe Miocic is even much more powerful than Dominic Reyes or Thiago Santos and yeah he's gonna face a lot more powerful dudes powerful dudes and in my opinion I think John Jones would give up a lot of strength at heavyweight even though he weighs around 235 240 he has he is at the heavyweight weight but he hasn't experienced the strength at heavyweight just yet he only experienced, I mean, he experienced D Daniel Cormier's strength. He He's a natural heavyweight. Let's just say this. Daniel Cormier is a heavyweight. And John Jones was able to deal with Cormier's strength. And even in their first fight, he was able to take Cormier down like twice. So, I'm saying, I'm not saying John Jones is not strong. John Jones is strong, but he's going to face the kind of strength that he's never faced before at heavyweight. So, and also, his last fight against Dominic Reyes... Dominic Reyes is not a grappler, guys. He is a striker, and he, that was only his, I believe, like, 11th, 11th professional fight or 12th. And, you know, I thought John Jones was going to be able to take Dominic Reyes down pretty easily and be able to control him, but no. John Jones took him down about twice, and I believe he was able to keep him down for, like, three seconds each. Dominic Reyes was able to get up, deal with John Jones' uh, takedown offense, and just yeah keep getting up and i feel like that is a problem that's gonna be a problem at john jones for john jones at heavyweight if he can't take dominic reyes down and keep him there i don't know how he's gonna be able to keep uh steep miocic down for example or francis Ngannou down like they're much more stronger than reyes and they're much more yeah they're much more stronger than reyes and they probably have better takedown defenses than reyes as well so so if John Jones can't take those heavy dudes down, he's going to have to focus on his striking. But striking-wise, I believe he lost against Dominic Reyes and arguably lost against Thiago Santos. So, yeah, I don't... Also, John Jones plays it safe nowadays. Like, he used to just go for it, like, against Gustafsson and against, you know, all the fighters that he fought when he was on steroids. He just went for it and he kind of uh, threw shots without caring i mean i'm not saying like he brawls but he threw shots more than how how much he throws them now he like plays it real safe against dominic reyes and tiago santos he played it safe both times and that resulted in having very close fights against those two and i believe he cannot do this at heavyweight he's not if he does this he feel like if he like plays this safe at heavyweight like, if they touch John Jones, I'm not questioning John Jones' chin, by the way. His chin is great, but we're talking about heavyweights. Nganu, Stipe, Miocic, 
they hit hard. And if John Jones tries to play it safe and rely on his defense and just leg kicks, I feel like he's going to get caught at one point and get knocked out. Or even even if he doesn't get knocked out, I feel like he's not going to be able to win in those strike exchanges against those heavy dudes. And I feel like he's going to lose. So my final verdict is this. John Jones... Yeah, he has a chance to become great at heavyweight. He has a chance to win title at heavy, win the title at heavyweight. He has the chance to beat everybody at heavyweight. But I think John Jones will lose at least once. Even I feel like John Jones will lose against Ngano if they fought. I feel like Ngano will catch him at one point and knock him out. And also against Stipe, I think that's the more better stylistic fight for John Jones. But I still think Stipe is way stronger, much more powerful. And I think Stipe has a chin also. We saw him take shots against Cormier uh, in their second fight and the third fight. So I feel like John Jones will lose to those dudes. And I'm a John Jones fan, so I hope that doesn't happen. But I feel like John Jones will lose at least once at heavyweight. So yeah, that's basically it, guys, for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you want to see next. If you disagree with me, you can disagree with me. But just I'm just expressing my opinion as an MMA fan. So please don't hate. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.